Hey everybody, it's Brad. And Jonathan. With the Big Family Homestead and this lovely piece of modern art behind us. Well, that's Jonathan's truck and we need some help from you. So what used to be a truck that I loved and adored and cherished has now become less than feng shui and permanent in my driveway. We're trying to figure out whether or not, um, how do you say it, Jonathan? Get rid of it. Is it worth it or should we get rid of it? So we're hoping that uh, you guys could give us a hand in helping make the decision of, do you keep it, get rid of it, scrap it, whatever. So I know a lot of you guys watch our videos and, and it's like cooking and homesteading and stuff like that. So ladies, go grab your husbands and, and have them watch this and you guys help us make the decision on what to do with this lovely piece of truck. So here we go. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and go over the positives. And well, maybe not necessarily all positives, but money that we've spent, things that we think are good, the yada yada and the yippy skippy, then we're gonna go over the things that we think are bad, then we are going to put our trust into your able hands, and you will tell us what you think in the comments section below, and well, it's up to him. It's his piece of truck. First of all, my truck is a 1984 Dodge D150. Uh, it's two wheel drive and a dog. My brother had driven this truck before me and he had got into an accident and I believe there's nothing structurally wrong with it uh, other than this bends just a little bit. And so we're calling that the fly fan thingy oh, area one. because I technically am, I'm, I'm so wise when it comes to motors and stuff. I know that's an alternator. That's a good start, isn't it guys? This whole assembly wobbles just a little bit, mostly where the fan is. Now you have put in brand new radiator. A brand new radiator. Uh, and under here, oh, and I got a new relay. New relay. And other than that, nothing is not under the hood but we've done other stuff right yeah let's go check the other stuff uh, i did get the grill assembly the radiator support uh and i still need a new bumper still need the bumper yeah i have put brakes on all four tires uh they work very well um i did not put new rotors on just new um pads new pads he will also have to deal with the cracked windshield now that's obviously, I mean, you need to take care of it, but that's not something that's gonna stop the truck's ability to run. Although safety issue, yes, 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 has gotta get fixed. Now I did have a problem with the linkage where uh, none of them were lined up. So park was actually reverse. Reverse was neutral. Neutral was drive. Drive was second, and then there was no first. And um, I, it, I took a couple of minutes just to look at it yesterday and it was just a bolt. A simple bolt that all you had yeah. to do was loosen up, adjust, and tighten down. Yeah. But all that to say that now it does shift properly. Yeah. That's huge. Let's talk about how it starts. Uh, starting is one of the issues. Once in a while I can start it from the cab. Give it a shot. Once in a while. Maybe we're lucky today. Yep. Tick, tick, tick. But when he doesn't start it from the cab, he still can start it with this. Make sure you lick it first. <laughs> Now I'm going to show you this from a couple different angles to show you how it wobbles. This 
He doesn't look so bad other than that fan blade is all over the map. You can kind of see it better from this angle here. Now my dad won't even let me drive it until basic safety issues are... Uh, Taken care of. Yeah. I would have to say that it's a basic safety issue being able to start your vehicle from inside the vehicle. Give it a shot, see if it'll go. Now kids, there's one of our problems. Is that an ignition issue? Because it can't be a battery issue, the battery is fine, or else it wouldn't be able to start by him jumping it inside, right? Who knows, what could this possibly be? Other questions, here we go. All right, folks, couple of questions here. Now, Jonathan got this vehicle as a gift because brother smashed it up and yada yada yippy skippy. He was begging. The weeping and the ganashing of teeth were unbearable. The nose foam, he was breaking his teeth on like biting on the bed. It was frankly sad. We couldn't say no. So he got the truck. Anyway, so here's the issue. He didn't spend any initial money on the truck. I did. So we can't really count that in the equation of what we're gonna do about the truck. So, money-wise, what you've put into it. How much have you put into it? Uh, probably with all the small piddly stuff. Um, with a bumper? Oh no, the front grill. Yeah. That was what? That was, that was uh, free. It was... From another truck. It was a gift. He got, he got the hood for free. Yeah. You did pay for the radiator. Yeah. That was, I don't know, I, probably 80. Okay, so we'll round up to $100 because his memory is generally fuzzy on that because he bought it and it got shipped here. No, it yeah, didn't. whatever. Anyway, so also you have put money into the brakes. Yeah, uh, I'd say about 150 for all of it. The main issues in my mind are if he can start the truck from the inside of the vehicle, if he can get that windshield replaced and the truck will break effectively, um, those are really my main issues. Uh, all the other cosmetic stuff I personally don't care about. Now the question is, he's already put in, let's round and say $400, right? Maybe 400 bucks into the truck. To get it to where it's not necessarily cosmetically beautiful, I'm guessing he's gonna need to spend another 500 all told you guys know better, and I'm asking that you would go ahead and say, no, 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 check this out. And we're actually even willing to do other videos if you're like, hey, stick the camera up in here and show me this. But the big thing that we, that I was surprised that we got done, honestly, was that linkage. I mean, he just got out there and decided, I'm gonna figure out this linkage so the shifter works properly, and he did. Um, so there's that. We're kind of relying on you guys. What would you do? Would you keep it, spend another 500 bucks on the truck um, or more? I mean, obviously if he spends the 500, then he's gonna love it even more. And then of course he's gonna wanna paint it and you don't wanna go to Earl Scheib 99.95 <laughs> if you've spent all this time and effort on this vehicle. So we're asking you, please put your comments down below. Uh, the fate of Jonathan's truck is frankly, well, you guys are probably the heaviest influencer because he's done listening to me when it comes to this. Right? Yeah, he's right, right. People, I need your help. I don't want to spend too much money on this truck, but it's my truck, and... He loves his truck. Yeah. He loves his truck, and we don't want to spend any more than it will be wise to spend. Maybe we've already overspent what's wise and we don't know it, but if it's like, hey, you could put a couple hundred bucks here and he has something that, that we feel like is safe and roadworthy, great. So please put your opinions down below. Uh, even if it's negative, be nice. Just be nice. If you're like, that thing is horrible, at least say it nicely, okay, right? I mean, honestly, nobody likes having their truck talked about like that. Do you? I don't like having my truck talked about like, well, I don't have a truck anymore, thank you. No, it's not good. I'm Brad. I'm Jonathan. And uh, we do really appreciate your opinion. You guys have an amazing day.